Well, this is the closest I've been to a black rhino since I've been in Kenya. And he's eating the fruit from a sausage tree. Look at that, isn't that incredible? Oh, let's just move a little bit so we can see him use that hooked lip of his. Oh, sorry, mister. Now, very important, let the car run for a few seconds so he gets used to the sound. There we go. Now, his behavior has been so relaxed. We've been sitting here for a while. So I'm just going to sneak around the big sausage tree. This is one of my favorite sausage trees in the Mara. It's absolutely massive. We're making sure he's got plenty of options to escape if he wants to. Look at that. He's got the sausage. But well, he's decided he's finished with the sausage. Uh, this is definitely the most, re well, relaxed rhino bull. And now, of course, oh, there he comes. Let's just go back a bit. It is the last sausage under the tree as well. You can see now rhino, when they're upset, will curl their tail. And you can see he's not upset at all. Very relaxed, very lethargic. He's decided that he's eaten enough of that sausage. And he's going to move on. Oh, to some bushes. We can see him using that hook lip. There we go. Oop. Isn't this absolutely spectacular? Oh, sorry, Manu. Kirsten, not Kirsten in Final Control, would like to know why black rhino are more aggressive than white. I don't believe they are. Uh, quite often they're encountered in thickets and, and bushes and they get a fright and they just charge in a general direction. Now my experience in, in black rhinos in areas that are used to vehicles is they're not aggressive, they just or maybe not aggressive, they're just a little bit more grumpy maybe and that probably comes from living in thickets most of the time so they often get a fright at close range um, and then will be very very upset with whatever's closest to them. And uh, there we go, look, you can see that perfect hook lip. And this is really, really awesome to be able to, to see a black rhino like this. Munching on what looks to be... Not sure what tree he's looking, uh, nipping off at the moment. I'll have to have a look a little later. Rebecca says they look like modern day dinosaurs. Uh, indeed, they do very much so, even though uh, the closest thing to a modern day dinosaur in terms of age that's been that's out here in the Mara is, of course, the Impala, who's been unchanged for 1.6 million years. Oh, there we go, there we go, territorial scent mark as he sprays there. That tells me he is definitely the dominant bull around this area. He's moving into the thickets there. Now, I just want to go have a look at something. I'm going to show you something very quickly before we jet off. I just want to have a quick look. Okay. Now, it's not often you get to see stuff like this. So even on something as big as a sausage, you can see the teeth cutting at that 45 degree angle. Now look at that, that is fresh black rhino saliva. That is amazing, absolutely amazing. Wow, what a start to the drive so far, leopard. I keep thinking I'm gonna see something else close by. Leopard, and definitely my best black rhino sighting in the morrow so far. But I think I did a naughty because I went closer to the lagger, so I can't hear Kirsten anymore. Let me just go back onto the road quickly. Well, I'm not sure who I'm linking to, but all I know is that I am 
thoroughly ecstatic with how Manu and my afternoon is going thus far. Hopefully it gets better and better.